kikubwa uzima tu hicho ndo cha muhimu kuliko vyote karibu sana kwenye asanuka niko sanoe msimu fulani hivi wa sikukuu ambao kuna mengi sana kwenye sanuka nataka niko jana nilikusogezea habari kuhusiana na Eric Omondi ambapo alizungumzia mziki wa ama piano na kiupande wake Eric Omondi alizungumza vingi sana lakini kubwa ilikuwa ni kuhusiana na mziki wa mapiano kwamba mziki huo bana Tanzania umekuja kuwa bongo forever. So hatuna bongo forever kwa sababu ya ama piano. Sasa kuna wasani wengi waliweza kumjibu Eric akiwemo mwanadada Zucho ambaye aliandika bongo forever can never die. Yaani bongo forever haitaweza kuja kufa. Kwa sababu gani anasema artists are going out of their comfort zone. It's called the diversity. Yaani wasanii wanaenda nje ya vile ambavyo huwa wanafanya siku zote. Alafu akasema trying new sound has never killed an industry music. Yaani kwamba mara zote sound mpya ambayo msanii anaifanya haiwezi kuua kiwanda cha mziki. Akasema the music industry is big so let artists try out both things ndo mabadiliko hayo. Kwamba muziki ni kiwanda kikubwa sana. Kuna vitu vingi sana kwenye muziki kwa hivyo kwa hivyo waache wasanii wafanye vya kwao kwa sababu hayo ndio mabadiliko. Jamani hayo ndo nini? Ndio mabadiliko. Anyway, leo pia Eric Omondi ameamka na kubwa jingine. Okay, hello. Nilizungumza jana aliona litosh. Leo ametujia na jingine jipya kabisa. Eric Omondi ameamua kufunguka na kusema Kenya musicians are dead asleep. <laughs> Wasanii wa Kenya wamekufa, wamelala. Tanzanian are losing it to ama piano lakini wa Tanzania wa Tanzania wanapoteza kwa sababu ya mapiano akasema Uganda stop singing they don't even try anymore <laughs> Riki kwamba Uganda sasa wameacha mziki na hata wajaribu tena kuimba mziki Jamani kabla sijamaliza kwenye hao Uganda kuna tuzo zimetoka jana ambazo damu pia ameshinda lakini kuna kipengele kimoja kinaitwa Best East North South Africa ameshinda Eddie Kenzo na ni kutoka Uganda. So hiyo tuzo waliokuwa kishindanishwa alikuepo Harmonize, alikuepo Alikiba, alikuepo Rivani na wasani kadha wa kadha lakini huo ni mfano kwamba kulikuwa na Watanzania wa Uganda wote walikuwa wanashindana lakini uh, tuzo imeenda Uganda kwa utagundua kwamba uh, wa Uganda wame stop kufanya muziki na kama ngo wame stop basi tusingi waona hata kwenye tuzo pia wakina Eddie Kenzo wao lakini pia nasema wasani wa Kenya wamelala lakini tuna msanii kama Otile Brown anafanya vizuri pia Nyashiski tunamfahamu anafanya vizuri sana kuna Jovi wanafanya vizuri yani wapo wanafanya poa sana lakini Eric anasema wamelala so yeye ki upande wake Tanzania anasema wana lose kwa sababu ya mapiano na Tanzania bana sasa hivi mmeamua kugeukia ama piano tu kwa nini mnageukia ama piano peke yake bana eh mnashinda kufanya mziki mwingine mnafanya ama piano sana anasema mnapoteza bana mziki mziki sio kufanya ama piano anyway ujumbe wake pia baada ya kuposti hiyo alisema East Africa Wizkid Field 02 Arena 390. Yaani kwamba Wizkid amefanya show na ameweza kuijaza arena kwa siku tatu, usiku mitatu. Akasema Ero and Chris Brown was present. Lakini kwenye show hiyo pia anasema kwamba Chris Brown alikuwa hapo. Bana Boy is winning the Grammy every year. Na huyo Bana Boy ambaye huwa anashinda tuzo za Grammy kila mwaka pia alikuwa hapo. All Kenya is presenting to Africa Music Olympic is a trio Mio a, a, a 14 years old two student who has never left Kenya. Lakini kwenye Olympic ameweza kutoa mfano wa hao ambao pia wanawakilisha Kenya vizuri. Na akaendelea kukusema the only the only tuliwani. Yaani msanii pekee East Africa is acknowledge is diamond Planamzi. Yaani msanii pekee ambaye ana ujuzi, ana uelewa ni Damon Planamzi. Let's give credit where it's deserved Chibu a little tries. Lakini pia uh, Damon ana mapiano inaitwa hiyo. So sijajua unachozungumzia nini hapa Eric Omo Sao umempongeza Damon. Lakini Damon pia anafanya mapiano, alishaikuliza kusema mapiano. Anyway, tuache hilo. Uh, so so 
uh, trying but not enough yani kwamba pia na mapiano uh, wale sao sao kutoka Kenya pia wanajaribu lakini hawajafanya vizuri sana i said what i said i'm tired and hungry nimeenda kukula yeah, anasema nimeenda kukula but i'm tired uh, uh, i'm tired lakini nimeenda kukula anasema acha niende kukula akakule kidogo anyway nafikiri wewe ni mmoja kati ya watu ambao pia hili umelisikia na um, tuwekane tu sawa kwa upande wako unaonaje kuhusiana na na muziki wa Tanzania na unafikiri ni poa sana kwa haya ambayo yanaendelea sasa hivi nataka drop comment yako kwenye comment section ito king be the one and only the best of the best presenter in Bongo Tanzania Eric Yomondi nana na munga mkono hapo na bye <laughs>